Right, hi there, welcome back. Okay, my word, what an amazing, amazing trip we had up to the CD HQ. Thank you so much for all your incredible support and all your amazing messages. We did have a great day, didn't we, Penny Fitzgerald? Fantastic. Awesome, it was a very long day. It's about five hours drive each way, so it was a good old day on the road too. However, what we got for you was this. Now, as you saw on the day, we went through every single thing, and as you can see in the picture on yesterday's Saturday's avatar, they laid it out properly. We can't do that, and two reasons really. We don't want to open the packaging because we want the winner of this at Christmas. This is the Christmas prize draw prize. This is kit number one. We want the winner to have it all in the packaging so they can break it all open themselves. So we've had to lay it out like that. But you can see, I hope, that this is everything we intended it to be. This all started something like six months ago. We contacted them, said, look, we look at your combination toolkits and there are several there that were kind of close to what I would want to recommend to our viewers, uh, but could we make some changes to it? And they said, yeah, go for it. Pick one that's a basic skeleton, take out what you don't need and then build the rest and tell us what you think. So we did that, we made a list and said, there it is. And they said, yeah, great toolkit, that's fantastic. We could consider offering that as one of our combinations based on a kind of little association with Delwood's Garage. And they said that would be about 540 quid. So we said, no, we need it a bit cheaper. And we said, we really thought about 200 quid. So when all the laughing stopped, <laughs> Neil got up, they said, right, let's work on it. Now, we want to say thank you to a very special person at Sealy, don't we? We do. Our friend Kevin. Now, Kevin at Sealy, we won't give his surname for his own privacy, but Kevin has worked tirelessly, sold eight of his nine lives to his boss to beat himself up and get the prices of these products down to a level where they can all be included under the 200 pounds. So what he's been doing for months is picking different tools, that's his remit, that's his job in the company, is to work with the hand tools section, pick an item, find what can be the right item to come in under the price, but I also said I want quality too, we don't want your very cheapest stuff, we want stuff that's of a good quality and is a good foundation product that a customer can use. So, this is what he came up with, there it is. And it is, as we asked, amazingly under 200 pounds. This whole lot comes in at about 199 pounds 45, which is absolutely outrageous. I cannot believe they've done it. I've been over some of the retail prices of this, and I think you get about a third of the way through and you hit 200 pounds. So if you start with box, and you start adding in things like the, the sockets, bits and pieces, the spanners and so on, and as soon as you, you get to 200 really quick, and then you start adding stuff and keep adding it, and you're up to 500 plus, it's just mad. But there we are, they've managed by talking to their top brass to say that they can support us in what we want to do, which is to supply a toolkit available to you. So the principle is, you will be able to buy this online. It's not quite ready yet. It will happen probably in about the next couple of weeks, which is finalizing the paperwork, finalizing the tool list. All of the tools on that list will be available separately. So if there's anything there you like, you'll be able to buy it at the discount that is part of the kit. So individually, that's a really good thing. Also, there's that little expansion kit you saw in yesterday's video, which Quite simply, it's the things that we couldn't get in under £200 and also that you may have already, such as a torque wrench. If you've gone out and bought a torque wrench, if this was £250, you wouldn't want to spend £250 on a kit and have a second torque wrench. So we took that out and made it 200 I hope that makes sense. Does that make sense, Ben? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's kind of trying to head it off. You know, you might have a hammer, you might have a hacksaw or whatever, but we still thought a foundation kit needs all the basics. So this is based on what I started my motorcycle maintenance life with some 30 odd years ago you know just the basic stuff stuff i got from my parents from my dad my grandfather and stuff that i've still got to this day so i think this will work i really do now obviously there are things missing we have had a few people say where's the socket for your spark plugs now a spark plug socket there are varied sizes i think there are three sizes as you know so that would have been three more items would have pushed it over 200 and they're really cheap, and you could buy the right size for your bike for about four or five pounds and add it in. This is called the Evolution Toolkit, because the concept is that you buy this and then you evolve it as you go. This gives you pretty much everything you'll need, but then the little things like that you can add. There's loads of stuff I could have put in here. A vernier caliper to measure things, a brass wire brush for your spark plugs, a plug gapper or some feeler gauges. All of those things we could have put in. Yes, we know that, but you wouldn't have got it at 200 pounds. It would have ended up 300 before you know it. And then how can, say, the average 18-year-old, 17, 18-year-old buying his first scooter, how can they afford all that? It's an awful lot of money. So that was the task. That's why it's taken six months of beating it, because everything we, everything we bat to see, they back it back us with a problem. So it's a bit like a ping pong that's gone on, as Phil said in yesterday's video. Lots of emails, lots of conversations, trying to get this battered down to a competent, comprehensive kit that we love, that I really like and I'm happy with, and happy to present to you, because that was a remit with this. And the one thing I just can't, I love this. The one thing I love the most is the oil filter wrench. 
Now I haven't even got one of these, but this is cool. If you need to take an oil filter off, and you know how difficult that can be, trying to get an oil filter off, this is an amazing little tool. I absolutely love this. Where's the top? There it is. Um, quite simply, it's an oil filter wrench that will grab hold of an oil filter and grip it in any position. It goes right out to a mad sort of 120 mil, right, and you saw that. I think that came across in the video. I absolutely love that. That is a really cool oil filter wrench because that's something that so many people don't have. And they end up using grips or big old pipe grips or something and tearing it and buggering it up. So in that sense, I really like that. That's the kind of tool I liked and that's why there was so much ping pong to get all this to a standard of stuff that I'm ready to present to you at a price that I hope you beginners can afford. Anyway, this is the Christmas prize draw prize. This is kit number one. So one lucky person will win this at Christmas time. We're trying to find somebody who can come and draw the prize, aren't we, Pen? <laughs> yeah. Somebody special. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna try and find someone special to come and draw the prize, but it will be one of your viewers, and we're really, really looking forward to that. It's fantastic, and that will be in the December prize draw that is closest to Christmas before it, so it'll be it. Otherwise, like I said, it's available. If you want to buy yourself one, if you want to put one on your Santa list, then you'll be able to do that. It will be about a week or so, and then all the paperwork will be ready. Everything will be in place. You'll be able to look at it, buy it online. We'll put a video out to say it's all ready to go. Buy it online, this link, etc., etc. but we're not quite ready to do that. As soon as the guys at CD tell us it's ready and say go, then we'll do the same. And of course, also, this doesn't go without a mention to Wemoto. Our friends at Wemoto will be distributing this worldwide. They are a worldwide distribution network and they will be the people that you will get this from. If you buy one, they will ship it to you. Even in Australia, they've got agents in Australia that will be able to get this. That will take a little bit of time to get a quantity of stock of these to the various suppliers around the world and that's simply a supply chain. And as we all know, that takes a little bit of time to set up, but once it's all set up, you'll be able to buy this pretty much anywhere in the world. We can't necessarily guarantee that because it's out of our hands, but we hope that will be the case. That's certainly the intention, isn't it, Penny? <coughs> it is. Anyway, for today's prize draw, we have to put this away to one side <laughs> and we have to show you what we've got. We've got a cool prize draw with some motorcycle security, which we know goes down very well. So let's get this cleared up and show you what we've got for a prize draw today. Come on, blimey, that's heavy. <laughs> okay, so back to normal for now, back to a standard prize draw video. So today's prize draw, what we're going to do is we said each week with the security stuff, we're going to bring it up and up a level until we eventually get to that at Christmas. So for this one, we've got two prizes for you. We're going to do so what we've done, I think once in the past, we're going to do a winner's prize. We'll draw the winner and then we're going to do a runner's up prize second. So when we draw this next week on Sunday, we're going to draw out the winner of the main prize. And then after that, just because so many of you say, oh, I see the name for that and I never win anything, we're going to do a runner's up prize as well. So let's show you quickly what we've got. The first prize itself is a little combination of three things that they put together as a set. So you've got a ground anchor, you've got a pretty cool sealy lock. Which one is that? Let's have a look. It's the 9512, CL 9512, which is that kind of combination lock, which is all in one, like a snap together lock. So you can carry that with you. That's the sort of lock you see. You see a lot of these in London. When we go out to London a lot, mm. we see these, all the dispatch guys and the scooters where they park in the scooter parks, you see these a lot because they drop under the seat quite nicely. So one of those, you've also got a ground anchor with it. So you can anchor it to your bike itself with the little bungee and you've seen all that. And at the same time with this one, there's a disc lock as well. So it's a little combination there. That's pretty cool. And that lot all together comes to about 81 pounds, isn't it? That's right. About an 80 quid price, that's pretty cool. And thank you again, CD supply these, they donate them for prize draw giveaway. So thanks for them for that, that's a nice piece of kit. You can carry the disc lock with you, the lock when you're at home and a ground anchor, so you can lock it to a wall or the ground or whatever you like. And of course, these are so important. How many, hands up <laughs> at the back, how many people have buggered either a mud guard or a disc or a caliper by not taking your disc lock off. So that's a useful piece of kit to go with it. It's all part of it. And these are the proper little expanding bolts that go in the floor with the ball bearing that hammers in the end so you can't undo them. So there we are. That's the first bumper prize for next week. The second one is something that I really like this. I kind of said to them, I like that. Can we give that away as well? So they let us have one. And here it is. What it is is a, it's what I might call a scooter lock or a very lightweight lock. Now, the lock itself, it doesn't come with, I'm going to take it out of packaging this time, I never do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. What it is, it's a chain with an eyelet and this little ring on the end. Can you see that, Ben? You can, yeah. You yep. see it there. And quite simply, what you do with this is you put it around your wheel, you put that through to make a little noose like that, and then with that, that little pin goes through your disc lock. So you put a disc lock on your disc and you drop that in it. 
and effectively you've not only got a disc lock you chained it to something so if you're out and about and you feel that a standard disc lock isn't enough then that's small enough and light enough to go in a pocket literally or even under your seat it's tiny so that little combination would be pretty cool to carry with you or if you've got a lightweight bike or whatever whereas something like that being carried is a lot heftier so there you go now that combination of two things that's 40 pounds isn't it on its it own? is yes that's 40 quid alone so that's going to be the runner-up prize for next week i kind of like that that's even if you do have the best security in the world this is a great little doodah to carry with you on your bike you can lock that round something in the street furniture and then the disc lock gets locked to it i kind of like that it's pretty cool that is a usable idea typical sealy stuff sort of clever and affordable again all available from wimoto so right, we need a question pen i've got one you got one I didn't think of a question until 15 minutes ago and I thought it was a rubbish question, but she's come up with one. It's got to be easy. Is it an easy question? It's easy. So what's the question? Question is, Go on. what is the make and model of Dell's current Harley? Oh, blimey. Yeah, of course. So what, yes, what Harley Davidson do I currently ride? What is my bike? What's my Harley? What make and what, what make? It's a Harley Davidson. <laughs> Really should think these things too, shouldn't I? That's why I'm in charge. <laughs> so there we are. What model of Harley do I currently ride? That's the easiest question in the world. I don't think you have to look that one up, do you? Pretty if you simple. need to, it's in the playlist. And if you go backwards in date, you'll find it. You'll find it. It's there. Now, what's the date? What's the closing date? I need the inches in by Friday the 13th of October. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Friday the 13th of October, get those answers in and we'll call the winners of these two prizes out on Sunday, won't we? And please just send them to this address. This address here, please, it only to this address, no other address, that's the only one, otherwise we won't get the answer late in, enough in time because they're coming in all over the place, aren't they? They See are. See if we can break 600 on this one. We had 600 last time, 500 the one before. Let's see if we can go to 700 entries on this one because it ain't on, is it? It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Is that done, Pen? Good luck. Good luck, get your answers in. Thanks for everything. Thank you to Celia and all your amazing help with these prize draws and the rest of everything else you're doing. Back to the fabrication midweek on the Street Fighter. So loads of you looking forward to that. Join us for that. Take it easy, ride safe. See you next time.